The theme of this year's Biennale, Free Space, is a really important opportunity to demonstrate the qualitative aspects of architecture that work beyond the project brief, to create places of potential that offer something to the public, that enrich everyday experience and adapt over time. So there's often this dichotomy in architectural discourse between a very functionalist approach as something that you can sell to the public and when architecture is discussed on its own terms it's often taken off to the academy as this completely insular thing. And something that's quite nice about the free space thesis and that I think is in a lot of ABA's work is that these generosities are something that anyone can appreciate but are about architecture's own qualities. With our installation, we've decided to focus on five qualities of free space that our work in housing architecture represents. These are threshold, inhabited edges, passage, roof space, and frame civic space. We see thresholds as the way in which architecture makes a gesture of welcome, of inclusion, of invitation, and each one of these holds opportunities for material expression, for form, to modulate and manipulate light and create shelter. The articulation of the threshold and its spatial experience implies place, something that has character and a kind of embedded generosity. Manipulating the geometry of the envelope, you can use the resulting spaces between angled facades to create moments where people can occupy that place between inside and outside. They express the human inhabitation on the exterior to some extent. If I go right back, some really important experiences I had at Hadrian's Villa, for example, where really big sort of landscape interventions allow you to sort of emerge from a cavernous space onto the edge of a kind of cliff overlooking the landscape and you have this very profound moment where the architecture merges with the topography and we are allowed to inhabit that moment. If you turn the idea around of a corridor just being getting from A to B and being actually a place of gathering, it focuses the mind into trying to create places or an architectural expression, a geometric expression that creates a memorable space where people want to be rather than just move through. So when we think about passage, we're also thinking about the sequence of spaces and destinations that you could describe as a narrative, a kind of spatial choreography that includes not only the building itself and the places within it, but also moments when you enjoy the city around you. In a modernist building, the roof is reduced to essentially well, barely there. existing. Yeah. And in a suburban house, it's this huge empty space that you right. ignore. So to me, ABA projects have right. sought to take those things and turn them into something that you can enjoy. Right. By working with roof forms that can be inhabited, like mansard roofs and hipped roof forms, you can really enjoy the sky and enjoy views, but also occupy that space in new ways. It's a gift in a way, uh, the space within a roof. If you make it one of the major inhabited spaces of the home, it starts to transform the home into a workplace or a type of multi-purpose space. It's a place of potential. In our housing projects, we make a very deliberate effort to ensure that we're framing new collective public spaces. So for example, at Ely Court in South Kilburn, we've created a new public garden square that's framed by a mix of both new and existing buildings. And we also form new streets, new civic hard landscaped areas. All of these elements are a way in which housing architecture goes beyond the brief and actually is instrumental in creating public space. This is why we see housing architecture as actually civic building. Even the facades and the way they are articulated, the framing, the thresholds, the inhabited edges, all of those elements are contributing to the character and nature of the civic space. So something that seemed to me about the way that this theme relates to housing as a global theme is that it's becoming a little more than a tool of investment. 
and that free space could be considered as talking about the unquantifiable aspects. Yeah, at its most ambitious, housing works to create fantastic quality of space for people to live their lives, but also can work to create a community, a place with a really strong identity that people feel a sense of belonging to. And I think that all these things are sort of fundamental to human nature and to our conscious and subconscious sense of well-being. In the old house, on top of the balcony, we had like a, the other people's balcony, so we didn't like... We had somebody above us, but here on the top floor. And now we have, um, like, we... Space. Space. Nothing's on top there. Freedom.